I was opening up some mail today and I got this little fundraising letter that came from the Canada Revenue Agency and the way they state these fundraising letters they're not they're not polite like charities are right so we reassessed your 2021 income tax and benefit return and recalculated your balance you need to pay one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars and sixty four cents minus any amounts that you paid blah 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 and to avoid additional interest please pay by March the 29th of 2023 so at least they said please there so that was nice it got me thinking okay well what what are they going to do with this sixteen hundred and eighty dollars and sixty four cents anyways and I talked about this in a video the other day mentioned that uh, that that hotel room that the government is not telling who stayed in it that hotel room cost six thousand dollars a night and I know I'm going on about this but now now this is just a little more real here with this fundraising letter and so six thousand dollars a night the whole bill was thirty two thousand dollars well this sixteen hundred and eighty dollars doesn't it, it hardly puts a dent in that bill and you think about okay well the jet that he flew to get there can force one is what is what it's what it's known as you know sixteen hundred and eighty dollars that the, the to buy the jet fuel for it well it would that sixteen hundred and eighty dollars is going to be burned off shortly after takeoff and so so that's that's a little disheartening i also came across an article where it was found out that there's something like 15 billion dollars that can't be accounted for that was probably probably illegitimately obtained through various COVID benefit programs that we had and and the the government just says that uh, it's not worth going after 15 billion dollars is not worth going after well the 15 billion dollars would go a long ways towards paying off that hotel bill so i i would think that they should go after that also it's interesting to note too that for a very long time i uh, a person's principal residence in this in this country was not was not taxed so somebody could buy a house live in it a few years and then sell it and then they wouldn't have to worry about paying the taxes on it well ever since 2017 you now have to report you have to make some kind of a declaration for principal residences so you know where they're going with that eventually they're going to be making some kind of a tax on people's primary residences so they're eventually going to have to go into the living rooms of everybody's homes in this country they're going to tip over the seat cushions and they're going to have to get whatever it is they can get so hang on tight they're coming for you too probably and so watch your wallet in the meantime let me know your thoughts you all take care see you next time bye for now